Well, this appointment caught many by surprise, and in fact, it, it must be unparalleled that a former head of state would be, be, be appointed a, a governor in another country. There's a very close relationship between President Saakashvili and President uh, Poroshenko of Ukraine, and I think that's what really um, brought the two together for this idea. Uh, I think uh, President Poroshenko is looking for some outside talent. There's already other Georgian ministers serving in other governmental departments inside Ukraine. And Sakis really oozes the charisma and has the energy and he loves the challenge. Um, and I think that's why Poroshenko thought he was the ideal person for this, uh, for this position. Um, issues like not having Ukrainian citizenship until a few days ago or not being from the Odessa Oblast. Um, these issues that might seem like problems for most people to Saakashvili don't even register as being problems. He, he sees this as the next stage in his career in confronting Russia and bringing Euro-Atlantic ideas uh, to the region. Well, the appointment shows that President Poroshenko is fight, uh, taking the fight against corruption very seriously. It was um, it's suspected that the, the former governor of, of Odessa had close ties to various warlords. Um, it, political and economic corruption is endemic in the region. And this is a very important region because it's the, it's the largest uh, province in, in Ukraine. It's one of the wealthiest provinces in Ukraine. Odessa is the largest port. And I think that... Um, there are some parallels between what Saakashvili did while he was president in Georgia, and specifically to the Black Sea city of Batumi, and what Poroshenko hopes he can do in Odessa. Um, if you look at the way Saakashvili took on warlordism, corruption in Ajara province, which is where Batumi is located in Georgia, and how he turned that province and turned Batumi around, to uh, being a, a gym uh, in Georgia, a gym on the Black Sea, I think that Poroshenko is hoping that Saakashvili can do the same thing. Well, geostrategically, it's a very important region. Um, as I pointed out already, it's the largest port for Ukraine on the Black Sea. Um, it is located... Um, in, a, in a part of Ukraine that is close to the uh, frozen conflict in Transnistria. Um, it shares a land border with the Moldovan autonomous region of Galgausia, which also has very strong uh, Russian ties and Russian sympathies. Uh, just recently, there's been uh, pro-Russian activists causing problems in Odessa. And I think that uh, when you, you put all these uh, factors add all these factors together, there's a concern that Odessa could be next, as they say, in terms of Russian meddling and, and Russian interference. And President Saakashvili has been sent there, I think, in order to, to act as a buffer against this sort of aggression because he knows what it's like to be invaded by Russia. He experienced this in 2008, and he's dealt with Russian aggression, and he's dealt with political corruption, and he's been able to promote economic freedom in the past in Georgia. And it's hoped that he will replicate this in this important region of Odessa.